Nearly $4 million spent and over 1,000 people have received help so far in Guilford County. City of Greensboro covering their rent and utilities during the pandemic. Rent and utility assistance programs, they are available in Guilford and Forsyth counties in the cities of Greensboro and Winston-Salem. We're talking today about how you can get help from either one of those programs. So we have Winston-Salem Co-op Program Manager Sharika Floyd, Homeless Prevention Coordinator Elizabeth Alverson, Randall Hoover, the Division of Director uh, for the Guilford County Department of Health and Human Services, joining us, as well as Mia Stockton from Forsyth County. All right, so with that uh, said, we want to make sure that you know how to get your questions to our experts. And the number is 336-379-5775. Uh, we want to make sure that you know that this is a text only, so please don't call this number but you can text your question to these experts. All right, first and foremost, Elizabeth, let's just kind of do the round robin of where the applications are for each of the cities and the counties and then what you're looking forward to. Of course, thank you for having me. Um, so since our launch on March 24th, um, we received over 4,800 applications through our application portal. Um, over 1,900 of those have been processed, meaning they've either um, are currently in review or have received some type of financial assistance. Um, we have spent, um, we have put out in the community about $2.8 million. So since yesterday, I've, I've updated those numbers, and that equates to about 536 households that have received some type of assistance. Um, the remaining 2,800 applications are still. Um, in our portal and um, need to be complete by those applicants. So anyone that has filed an application or started an application already um, can go in there and continue to uh, update that and get that submitted to us. Okay, and that is just Greensboro alone. So let's go to your other uh, city counterpart there. So Sharika, uh, you're representing Winston-Salem. So what does it look like when it comes to applications there? So applications for our RUMA program, which is our mortgage program, um, we have over 1,700 applications. That program was awarded about $1 million, and we've spent out over $200,000 in that program. Um, and we're just asking for more people to submit applications. Um, we also have the ERAP program that is in co connection with the county, and um, we have over 2,600 applications in that program. And um, we're still urging more people to apply so that we can spend even more of the money. Um, we were awarded $11.5 million for that. Wow, okay, and we, you know, we wanna give you all of these kinds of numbers, not to make your head spin, but to let you know that people are getting help and that there is money out there um, and that you are definitely not alone in applying for this kind of help. So Randall, let's go and look at Guilford County. Okay, in Guilford County, since we launched on February 8th, uh, we have received uh, 1,077 applications. Uh, we have processed uh, 956 of those applications. Uh, we have 121 that are still pending, meaning that we uh, are still needing some verification to uh, determine eligibility on those. Um, and we've spent out about 1.35 million uh, in the funding that we received. And we just, we're just encouraging uh, anyone in the county who uh, has a need to go ahead and make that application. All right, so you've kind of seen kind of the numbers there. There are pending applications, there are things in process, but there's lots of applications that have been approved both in Winston and Greensboro in Guilford and in Forsyth counties. So Mia, let me ask you, you know, for because the application process is basically the same in most places um, for people who are going, all right, is it going to be too much for me to handle? Can you walk us a little bit through the application process? Absolutely. Thank you for having me. That application process, you, there's a two step for it. Um, there's an online application process and I, I believe the um, Guilford folk are doing that as well. Um, but for those individuals that may need additional assistance here in Forsyth County, they may come into the DSS and complete an application. Um, we have staff that will support the individuals to complete that application step by step in the application portal and things. Um, basic information is needed. You know, we need copies of your lease. We need the income for your household and self attestation for your COVID um, related, um, COVID related instance for this um, program. 
Um, we look at income that's at 80% priority and AMI of 50%. So it's just very important. We just wanna encourage people to come in and apply. Apply online, there's dollars there. Uh, we have an extension for this e emergency uh, rental assistance program for the first half. It is now extended through September of 2020. So we have more time to, to assist folk uh, with um, their assistance in rent or utilities. All right, and so I'm seeing lots of uh, nodding heads in agreement. So everybody's been extended to September. So that means that there is more time and more money for, uh, for help for you. So we want you to make sure that you've got all of the information that you need to make a, a good decision to be able to make that application. And maybe you're wondering what kind of documents do I need? We're gonna talk about that when we come back.